cationic polymerization. As similar to free radical polymerization, cationic polymerization is also having three steps. That is initiation, propagation and termination. So the first step, initiation, in order to initiate the reaction, there is a need of a initiate form a cationic initiator. So this cationic initiator then attacks the first monomer, then becomes a reactive center. So this reactive center then further attack the next monomer and the reaction goes on. So, and the polymer grows. That is the reaction carries over. Polymerization takes place. So we are going to see the mechanism of cationic polymerization. In cationic polymerization, the first is initiator. In order to initiate the reaction, the initiator here we have taken as a Lewis acid, which reacts with H2O so that the H plus and OH minus ion of H2O. H plus will be formed and the OH minus ion attacks the B to form B. Cl3OH minus and H plus proton is formed. Now, this proton initiates the first monomer, that is the initiation step. So, the H plus attacks the double bond of the monomer so that the electrons are transferred to form a bond between hydrogen and the carbon. So, H C H, H, the double bond become single bond. So here there is a deficiency of electrons. So C plus carbocation B minus. So this is the first reactive center. First reactive center. Now the next step propagation will be carried over. Propagation is a chain growing step, continuation step, proceeding. So the first reactive center formed carbocationic active center attacks the next monomer and the electrons will be transferred and which attacks the double bond of the next monomer alkene so that the bond is formed between this carbon and this carbon. So here there is a deficiency of electron due to the flow of electrons. So carbocation is formed at the end of the chain. So C plus B minus. So why I am mentioning this B minus here is, so that is the initiator. B Cl3 OH minus, generally I have mentioned here as B minus. So the product of the propagation step is H C H C H three C H three and the new bond is formed between this carbon and this carbon a new bond then C H C H three C H three plus minus so as the number of monomers attacks the carbocationic center the chain growth takes place and n number of polymeric product is formed. So that is n times. We have put here as n times. n number of monomers. So this chain will be, this will be repeated. So that we have mentioned here as n. If there is two, here also the, um, the monomer will be repeated two times. If here is three times, the monomer repetition is three times. Now here is n times. The monomer repetition is n times. So this is propagation step. The next one is termination. Termination is stopping, ending, ending of the polymerization process. So here in this termination, there is a, a protonic ion transfer, just a transfer of ions. So here the 
carbocationic center one of the hydrogen the nearer to the hydrogen next to the the carbon attached the hydrogen attached to the carbon next to the carbocation will be transferred to the monomer or released one of the hydrogen is released that's all simple one of the hydrogen is released so what happens here due to the removal of hydrogen the electrons will be flow here to form a double bond so the compound becomes stable and the h released here will attach the another monomer to form another cation and that reaction will carry over separately now our polymerization process is stopped over in case there is no monomer the h plus and b minus will be separated as the initiator itself so that means c h h c double bond c c h 3 c h 3 that is our end product and this hydrogen attacks the any other monomer present to form another cation if there is no formation of any monomer the h plus and b minus will be released separately so here there is b minus or in case this monomer is not present a product may be h plus and b minus which is a initiator will be separated so that termination over so overall there are three steps initiation propagation and termination initiation the reaction initiates to form a carbocation propagation the carbocationic center then further attacks the another monomers to form a chain growth the next one termination termination means ending of the reaction which is carry over by a ion transfer step so that the um, end product is a in product that's all about cationic polymerization the another type polymerization we are going to see is anionic polymerization so as similar to cationic polymerization anionic polymerization is also going to carry over three steps initiation propagation and termination so in this anionic polymerization the transfer of electron from a donor molecule to the monomer leads to the formation of an anion radical so that the carbon which is having negative charge is called as carbanion so in cationic polymerization we called the active center as carbocation here it is called as carbanion so in cationic polymerization the initiator we have taken as a lewis acid here the anionic polymerization the most probably the initiator will be the ele electron donors will be lewis bases so here the initiator in order to carry over the reaction start the reaction we have to take a initiator always in free radical mechanism or in cationic polymerization or in anionic polymerization all the steps are initiated by the initiator in free radical polymerization the initiator forms a free radical in cationic polymerization the initiator forms a cation and in the anionic polymerization here it is the initiator will produce a anion so knh2 in liquid ammonia we will get k plus and nh2 minus which is having electrons going to transfer to the carbo carbon center so the first step initiation 
starts over the nh minus ion attacks the monomer so there will be a bond formation between nitrogen and the carbon here the electrons will be shifted to the next carbon so negative charge excess of electrons negative charge this is called as carbon ion this is a reactive center the reactive center here is a carbon ion the next step is propagation so the reactive center the first active center carbon ion then attacks the further monomers next to monomer the electrons from the carbon ion attach the monomeric carbon to form a bond between this carbon and this carbon and the electrons will be shifted to the next carbon carbon ion is formed which is shown here a new bond is formed between the active center and the next monomer and the reaction proceeds till the monomer ends so n number of monomers have been taken the product is a lengthy chain up to n numbers next termination we know termination is a end step so that the nh3 liquid the nh3 one of the proton will attach the carbon ion active center so the h plus and c minus combines together to give hydrogen bond and nh2 minus will be released over a proton transfer from nh3 to the carbon ion so the active center will be terminated stop so that's all about carbon uh, carbon uh, so anionic polymerization thank you